how to send bulk emails using gmail hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can send your bulk emails from gmail so having said that let's just jump into the video now if you're using gmail you will know that you really can't send bulk emails you need a third party integration or an extension to do so or maybe even a software or an application altogether but in this video i'll show you how you can do it using gmail so we are going to be using a third party program and that is known as a mail merge now mail merge is a pretty cool application to use it's available on google as well and how do you find it it's pretty simple you can go to developers.google.com and go into the app scripts or the easiest way is to just simply search for mail merge right here microsoft is going to pop up and google is going to be down here you can even just search for gmail and then it's going to pop up over here and then once you click on the link it's going to take you over here and this is how it looks like so right here you can see it's telling us how it works so basically you have to create a gmail draft template with the placeholders that corresponds to the data in the sheets right so right here this is an important sample if we click on this little option right here this is basically like a sample that we can go ahead and use but it depends on you so here is the app scripts it's gmail service right here and this is the copy right here so what you need to do is first things first you need to create a template in your gmail account right for example if we come over here and click on compose we got to create a template of an email right and over here this is going to be the prerequisite a google account right and a web browser that access the internet and also google sheets as well so here is where we're going to set up our script we got to create an app script project and this is like a copy of it so if you click on make a copy it's going to take us over here onto the another tab and then we can click on make a copy and the attached apps and script files and functionality will also be copied so this is basically the copy of the email that we're going to be using the things that we don't want to change are going to be the headers right here so first name last name and recipients and description as well these should not be changed at all you can change the discount code like you know or the discount code amount to whatever you want so business or whatever it is that you want and you can add whatever fields you want to add over here but do not change the first lines like the first name the last name recipients and description because these are going to be important these are going to be available over here next you can add your names over here and their you know emails as well so for example i'm going to add some emails of my own right here as an example and then i'm going to add these description and subject lines and whatever and we should be good to go right so going back over here clicking on it it's going to make a spreadsheet sample you gotta go ahead and add the recipients column right here as i said before do not uh, change the recipient columns and once you've created the template uh, in your column you're gonna make sure that you add this as the first name and the last name as well right this is the format that we're going to be using we're going to add the flower brackets or the curly brackets whatever you want to call them two of them and then in them we're going to add the first name or last name recipients or descriptions as well and then we just want to click on run script which is over here right here so let's go ahead and do this right and if you want to view the source code it's down below as well so first things first let's go ahead and create a email right here as a template email right so this is the template that we're going to be using right here as you can see this is how i drafted it as you can see i have the recipients over here as it is over here as you can see recipient we're going to add the emails over here we have the description over here if you want to add them first name last name and we have the discount codes and the discount amount over here so next what you can do is you can go ahead and filter out and add the flower brackets and add the first name descriptions or discount code whatever you want over here and you can add them right here so for example this month's discount code and over here add the flower back in and i'll add the discount code amount right here and then just simply close the bracket like so and it was bolded so i just shortened it out now you can as i said before you can change the names of these two so over here it can be anything it can be like the business topic or business deal or business name or project type or project name whatever you want and the rest of them you should leave it as it is and next what we'll do is we'll add some different names over here right first names and last names and then we can add the more emails as well i'll add my own emails 
and once everything is done you should be good to go so here you can see uh, this is the email that we created this is the draft ones so let's go ahead and you know start sending it out so to send it what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and copy the uh, description or the subject line and then we're going to go back and we're going to double check everything whether or not whether everything is in you know place first names done last names check make sure that these are not changed at all and once that's done all you got to do is just simply click on the mail merge option and then just simply hit the send emails button as you can see it says right here running the script authorization required click on ok and authorize it make sure you're logged in with the same account as your gmail account and just simply go ahead and click on advanced it said it's not verified so we're just simply going to click on this button right here and allow it and once that's done all you got to do is type or copy paste the subject line of the gmail draft message you would like to make so just paste it right here click on ok and we should be good to go and after that just simply again once again hit the send mail option right here mail merge and then the send email scripts is running and let me just paste it again because this is weird and where there you go it actually works there we go it works now and we'll go ahead and check it out because i've already sent it to myself so i'm going to open it up and over here i'll actually open it up in another window and here we go here we go so as you can see i received the email we have the subject line over here it says right here this was the subject line and this is the first name that i added and this is the code the code i hadn't added the code yet but i forgot that so that didn't work so we should go ahead and check that double check it so this was the code i didn't receive the code so i should just copy this and here copy this and here in the uh, description i should go ahead and add it as well so i forgot about this one so i should just add it right here add the flower brackets and then close the brackets and this should work now right so let me go ahead and do this one more time so again just simply click on the mail merge click on send email running scripts paste the subject line that we have over here and click ok and i believe scripts is running i think it's done there we go let me just check one more time so and here we go so as you can see it's finished good to go let's go back to gmail and check it out there we go we have the code and this time we have it right here as well so as you can see it works this is how you can go ahead and send bulk emails and all that's left for you to do is just add the names and the last names and their emails right here and you can add the description if you want and whatever offer it is that you're selling them and whatever amount it is or whatever project it is like for example if you were sending a company their project right you were informing that that you are ready to start with the projects then all you got to do is change the column over here from discount code to projects right or project name whatever you want and then over here you can add the company name so that you can go ahead and add it into there into the email as a company name so pretty simple but yeah and then you just click on the mail merge option right here and merge the script and there you go so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you send bulk emails using gmail so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye